nobody is going to turn their noses up at a little extra power, not even someone who is primarily concerned with the overall efficiency of their automobile. And not even when the increase is only by 14 horsepower and 15 pound-feet, as is the case with the new BMW i's over the standard version of BMW's little electric hatch. But a mild power increase isn't all that separates the new BMW i's from the standard i3. There are a whole host of small improvements that make the i's a better automobile than the original, which continues on sale without any of the power or suspension updates you'll read about in this review. There's no increase in the lithium-ion battery's capacity of the i's, which remains at 33 kWh. If you've got BMW's i charging station, the i's will deliver about 90 miles of range in a little under 3 hours. Even if you don't have the official BMW charger, charging options abound, and you can always just plug into a standard 240 volt outlet and wait about 11 hours for a full battery. In other words, just charge it up overnight for the next day. Given the additional power, we'd imagine some of the regular grade i3's 124 miles of maximum range will be sacrificed, but BMW hasn't yet released US specific figures for the i's. We don't expect a massive drop in real world range, but when you're driving electric, every little bit counts. So, you're not going to choose this new sport model for its extended green credentials. Instead, you'll choose it for the those few extra ponies, and, more important, for changes made to its suspension, wheels, tires, and recalibrated stability control. From the outside, there isn't much to tell the casual observer that the eyes is any different from BMW's other electric hatchbacks. There's a new badge, naturally, and some small fender flares to cover the wider rubber the eyes packs at all four corners. The 20-inch wheels are each a half inch wider, and the tires are 175-55 up front, and 195-50 at the rear. That's up by 20 millimeters all around, which pays dividends with significantly higher levels of at-the-limit grip. BMW lowered the eyes by about half an inch, which in turn lowers the center of gravity. This helps the car feel planted, especially during quick side-to-side -side transitions. We were only able to test the regular EV-only version of the eyes, but it will also be available as a range-extended model with a 647cc gasoline-fueled engine to keep the onboard battery charged up. The extra 270 pounds of a two-cylinder engine and fuel tank are sure to impact performance somewhat, but we found the EV to feel rather quick and sporty at below highway speeds. BMW quotes a 060 time of 6.8 seconds about a half second quicker than the standard i3, and the instant torque of the electric motor makes it feel powerful off the line, 